In this video, we're going to go through and talk about Positron's R debugging capabilities. So to begin, we have this debugging function script where we have a nested call where we have F, G, and H. We're going to call uh, F with negative four, and we're going to just go ahead and press this run button, which is going to automatically source this R script. Now you'll notice over here, we get this really nice error or warning message, and we also have this nice traceback that is expandable. If we go ahead and expand it, uh, effectively, we can jump through the different parts of the script, right? So we're just going from the initial call at line 17 to uh, the second line to finally uh, the sixth line, which is that H call. Um, so if I then go back and I hide the trace back, we can engage the debugger by saying debug once. And then here we can say F. And if I go ahead and I rerun this, lo and behold, we now have the debugging bar that opens. And we also have on the left-hand side, this little uh, portion under the run and debug menu where we can see here X is negative four along with the current call stack. So in this case, we're going from the global environment to the local F environment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press the disconnect over here on this bar. Um, I can either press disconnect or I can use Q um, so if you're familiar with it, uh, that effectively ends our debugging session. However, if you try and jump in again by pressing this run and debug, one of the downsides here is you're going to be prompted to say you don't have a debugger for R. This is part of the Positron beta and it threw me in the first video that I wrote, which prompted a GitHub issue ticket that's down below. Shout out to Lionel. Thank you so much, bud. All right, moving a little bit more forward, we're going to go ahead and close that menu. And instead of F, we're gonna jump down over to where we see H. So we're gonna go ahead and rerun the script. And lo and behold, when we rerun the script, we're now sort of sitting in this you know, H environment. Now, if I go over here, right, one of the cool things is instead of just having negative F of negative four and current, I now have multiple um, you know, functions that I, I have created and I can sort of jump through and I can see you know, again, how uh, the environment is, is you know, happening. Now, I'm gonna go and press this step over, which is effectively saying N, uh, if you're familiar with a debugger. So basically that moves me uh, into computing the val, which is equal to the log of X. And in this case, the log of X is gonna be X minus uh, two. So if I go ahead and quickly execute that, right, I now know that the value that was taken under the log is negative four, um, which is giving, in this case, not a number because you can't take a negative number of the log. So then what ends up happening, if I go ahead and I run that you know, check statement, that's where you're seeing that error trace. So overall, it's a super useful debugger, uh, and I hope you learned a little bit, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.